Ah, the charming post-war vista of Milton Keynes. Do you want to hear some stats about Milton Keynes? Its facilities include a 1,400-seat theatre, a municipal art gallery, two multiplex cinemas, not one, but two, an ecumenical central church, a 400-seat concert hall, and an indoor ski slope. What more could you want? Anyway, should we get inside and try to win some free food? That's normally what we do over here. Who's <laughs> Oh, you know, I know. I you know, I thought I thought we'd managed to go undiscovered. No, 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 no. <laughs> we're, uh, we're we're moving because the light is slightly better here, and we got some dartboards in the background, which you know everyone loves darts, apart from me. So I'm having um, breakfast first, and then um, <laughs> what? Um, my lunch. So you order something from the breakfast menu and something from the lunch menu. You yes. animal. That's worth a fist bump. That's my girl. So what, they're going to bring your fish and chips out when my burger comes out? Oh, that, that's the plan. <laughs> Give my breakfast a bit of time to settle. Yeah, so you had a breakfast, then 20 minutes later you're going to have lunch. So you had a pub that used to do an onion ring challenge. Yeah, we did it here before, an onion ring challenge to Beyonce's, if you like it, put a ring on it. So ah. like, that's all, <laughs> to eat 60 onion rings. All right, so now a place called the Clock Tower in Emerson Valley, just outside uh, Milton Keynes. I'm taking on their, uh, does that have a special name? Or, uh... Just burger <laughs> You could go that way if you want. <laughs> The Clock Tower Burger Challenge, and you get, was it 30 minutes to uh, to, to clear the plate, and if you do, it's on the house. There's a guy who's walking around in the background, there's a guy here that actually designed it and attempted it, managed to finish the burger but not the fries, right? Yeah. So I've got to say, it's good, good, good attempts. <laughs> One of the little girls over there said she does not think I'm going to do it, so I'm going to try and prove you. No, she's still shaking her head. Right, so without further ado, this baby food, and this is the the Clock Tower Burger Challenge. <laughs> That's my, uh, my New Year's resolution this year, is to show the food from the top a little bit more because uh, then people can get an idea of how big it is. All right, still got, still got lamb pie in me from yesterday. Three, two, let's hope that pulsar doesn't stop you. One, <laughs> go. Yeah, the mouth pulsar, that's what I'm gonna fall back on that. Right, let me take these off. You enjoying your fish and chips over there? Yeah, lovely. They look quite nice. Right, how do we attack this? Oh, it's got an egg on top, so it's gonna be a sloppy one. Um, I'll, I'll take the bun off. <laughs> 10 seconds in, and I need a napkin already. <laughs> There's really nothing worse than, than egg yolk in your beard, so. I gotta get that out. Right, come on. Oh, hash brown. This thing is, um, this is full of surprises. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And today we're in Milton Keynes, which is famous for sod all, really, other than having fewer roundabouts than every other British town. <laughs> and we're at a place called the Clock Tower, taking on their eponymously named Clock Tower Burger Challenge, which I think is 25 quid. But if you do it inside 30 minutes, which nobody has managed to do yet, you get it on the house and it contains pretty much, I mean, it's hard to itemize everything, but there are beef burger patties in there, fried chicken, brisket, pulled pork, I think, hash browns, eggs, chili, all manner of uh, delicious stuff. My mouth also is, um, is actually quite, oh, quite, um, quite sore right now. I don't think it's gonna help right now, maybe afterwards. <laughs> Yeah, as Mrs. Beard points out there, I seem to have developed a rather painful mouth ulcer overnight. Which, by the way, I will use as an excuse to fall back on if I lose. <laughs> it's hard to tell how many layers are left. A lot. No, it's got me now. It's got me. <laughs> the camera lost focus. Yeah, has a habit of doing that sometimes. Not unlike its owner, I might add. Anyway, aside from the aforementioned fillings in the burger, toppings, fillings, whatever you want to call them, it's accompanied by, as you can no doubt see, a lot of fries, chips, whatever you want to call them, uh, onion rings, which despite being, I suspect, the frozen kind, were actually incredibly delicious, and uh, some balls too. Uh, I forget what's in them, some kind of balls. <laughs> what is that, a fish finger? I don't know what that is. Let's enjoy this last part, like an actual burger. They can't be fish fingers, surely. 
Maybe it's like a land, sea, and air burger, you know, like the, the secret menu one at McDonald's. Yeah, at this point, I'm starting to think, have they essentially just thrown in every single burger constituent from the menu? Uh, but these are not fish fingers. Although I'm not, I, I like fish fingers. I'm not averse to them. They actually turn out to be veggie dippers. Yeah, so apparently these are vegetarian goujons, not fish fingers. I think that's the only part so far I've not enjoyed. Dip them in a little bit of all beef chili so they are no longer vegetarian. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry if there are any vegetarians watching. That's probably some kind of mortal sin against vegetarian scripture, but yeah, I did it. Oh man, there are a lot of chips here. Yeah, to be fair though, the, the, the fries were actually pretty good. They were fluffy in the middle, had some nice herby crust on them. So for once, I, I'm not going to complain about them. <laughs> Onto the chips. Seven minutes. In, not left, yeah? I thought I lost like 15 minutes of my life. The mayonnaise is sabotaged. Now, a lot of people ask me why I don't often eat ketchup. I'm not the biggest fan of ketchup, but um, it will moisten things up. I can see a, a lot of the die-hard viewers right now are probably thinking, what's going on? Wait, he's lost his mind. He's finally putting condiments on his chips. Uh, I guess maybe I've uh, finally seen the light, eh? Uh, I thought you were going to do well. I did not expect you to do that well. <laughs> no, you're 11 minutes in. I've seen, I've seen, you, I've seen some of your videos, so I thought you'd do it, but... Saving your onion rings. Saving the onion rings and some of the, uh, you know, gooey stuff that's left over. I don't know what they are. Chicken balls. Mrs. Beard just likes balls. What can I say? <laughs> that, that was too easy. They actually turned out to be jalapeno popper ball thingies. To be honest, the chips are actually all right. They've got like some kind of herby seasoning on them, which makes them quite, and they're quite fluffy in the middle. So they're not that much of a drag. Let's get some of this uh, debris off the table. Otherwise, yeah, you'll be giving me grief. So help me God, they better have dessert here. That last one, the, the pie challenge, that, re that was a real letdown. Although the pie was nice. What time am I on? I've slowed down a little bit now. Coming up to 15 minutes, so halfway. This was the best part of the brisket. You need to throw at me so aggressively. Mm, I want to save the balls for the end because I don't know what they are. 60 onion rings. I could do that, no problem. <laughs> Well, you say that, but apparently when they used to do the 60 onion ring challenge, you had to finish 60 onion rings in the time it takes for the song. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it by Beyonce to play out. <laughs> what do you say? You thought the videos were fake? <laughs> I won't lie, I do give myself a little bit of a tan in the color grade. Yeah, that's that, that part's fake. My complexion is, is not quite that healthy. I mean, as you can, I, I haven't really graded it that well in this video because I look, I look uh, pretty cadaverous, a, a little pale. But yeah, that, that made me laugh. <sighs> I think I've gone past the window whereby they would have been really, really impressed. Now they're just going to be slightly impressed. Well, you do talk quite a lot. We're going to get an end shot there. I left these to the end because I don't actually know. I'm, you did. Yes. Well, I mean, I'm not quite yet, but I'm. Most people have a different reaction. You're like, Ugh. I told you. I told you. You get free. I think the prize is just just that you don't pay. Yeah, you get free. Well done. Oh, thank you. You're right. I'm impressed. <laughs> The people of Milton Keynes are friendly. Are you ready? So you said I was going to lose. Are you ready? I can get rid of that last bar. Oh. <laughs> 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 I 
That's it. I'm, I'm going to have to come up with new challenges. <laughs> Ooh, those cheese poppers are really nice. Oh. Yeah. So you just do it as well. Ones. Eight to 30 ice creams in one day. What? Have you heard this, Adam? 30 ice creams in a day. Oh, thank you. That's delicious. Well, Mrs. Beer tells me there is a dessert menu. There is? There is a dessert menu. God, what, what did you say I should get? The cheesecake. Ooh, was it a Biscoff cheesecake? A bit like it's Biscoff cheesecake, yeah, yeah really oh, nice. Well, I'll have a little bit of that, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. Let's try a little bit of this uh, Biscoff cheesecake. Yum. What are you ordering, more fish and chips? 